That's why I told you, you have to pay attention. The church is what? What did I call it? A school. Why do you have a note to keep track of what you're learning, right? And then you keep a track of what you're learning. You learn it and discern it. You practice it. Are you following what I'm saying? Leave it. So now, if you learn and you don't practice what you have learned, how do you make use of it? You know, we live in a generation now that Christians, oh, Christians, wait, let me take a random, where did you grow up? In what city did you grow? Lagos. In what city did you grow? Eh? I said city, not state. Onicha. Where did you grow? What's the name of your village? Say your village now. Where in Akwaibom? Akwaibom is a state now. Uyo? Oh, Uyo is a city now. Dimeji, where did you grow? Egbeda in Lagos. Where did you grow? Ikeja in Lagos. Adioli, where did you grow? Songo in Ogun State. Where did you grow? Lagos. Now, so you see Lagos, Anambra State, Akwaibom, and Ogun State, right? Okay, now, where did you school? Oshun State. Ile Ife Abi? Oshun. Where did you school? You are still a young, young student. Okay? But you are, in, you are in Lagos now, okay? You came from where? Onicha. To come and school in Lagos. Okay? Um, you left your, your village in Uyo, Uyo City to come and work in Lagos. Abi? Beauty. Dimeji, where did you school? Eh? Or your state? UI? Ogbomosho, okay. That's loud tech. Am I right? Where did you school? Benin. Benin. You left Lagos, Ikeja, Lagos, to go to Benin. How many bridges did you cross on the way? <laughs> Adiolu, where did you go to school? Ogun State, you were. Yeah. Where did you go to school? Yaba, Lagos. But you came from, where, where did you live in Lagos? Ayobo to Yaba. Now, did you live in Yaba or you go from Ayobo every day? You stayed in Yaba. So you left your Ayobo abode to go to Yaba. Now, now, this is, I said, I asked all of that to say this. Which of you picked a school that is next door? None. You are willing to travel that far to go to school. Right? Did you buy handouts? In your time, they used to sell handouts, Abby. Did you buy it? Why didn't you tell your lecturer that this is, this is, this is crazy? This is not legal by government standard. Did you say that? No. Why did you buy? <laughs> they made it come. Oh. You did not say it to his face. Your God could not say it to his face. You had to say it behind. Okay, because you don't want to, you don't want to stay in the school extra year. <laughs> okay? Now, I'm not endorsing that kind of behavior. I'm just, I'm saying this to get to a point. Now, you went all that way, surrendered yourself to the rule of men to learn the way of this world. But when, you, when it comes to church, what is your disposition? What? When you don't have money, School days, what do you do? Those of you that lived off campus, what did you used to do? You not go to school. You not go to school. Were there days you did not go to school because you don't have money? How long did you go? Will you go? Especially when you have some erratic lecturers that can just call a test. You what did you just say? You tricked. Have you ever trekked to church? I'm, no, I'm just asking you, have you ever trekked to church? Have you trekked to church? Yes. Have you trekked to church? Tunde, have you trekked to church? You, you, cannot, you cannot answer. Have you trekked to church? And have you trekked to church? Well, have you trekked to church before? You walk go church, you know, get money, you can't walk go. Eh? 
Yes. David, have you trekked to church? <laughs> when he say, Pastor, why did you need to come to church? He say, Pastor, I did not have money. And you have mouth to say it. You have mouth to say it. When you don't have money, you know you know all your friends that can give you money. You call them, right? Ah, please. So when you are going to church, I would like to ride with you. Please give me a ride down to so so place. If it's school, you know how to do it, Abby. If it's to work, have you ever told your boss that the road is bad before? Eh? Have you ever told your boss the road is bad? Boss, rain, oh, rain, oh, rain, oh, rain, oh, rain. I can't come today. <laughs> Have you done it before? But you know that you do it with God. Along Baba Kubagon. I bear in Kobai. Along Baba Kubagon. You can do anything you like when it comes to God. That's, that's my point. I have a friend who went all the way to Ghana to go and study. But then says the church that she likes to go is too far. And the church, the same church is in Lagos. Do you know that some people leave this place to go to water every day, every Sunday to go to church? Do you know some people do that? Do you know? And they will leave their house 5 a.m. Say, ah, so must I stress myself because, because of work, because of church? Ah, but if it is work, you will go. Don't you? God is watching you. Help me preach to your neighbor. Say, God is watching you. Oh, oh, suffer now. Let me tell your neighbor, God is watching you. He's watching you. With binoculars. Divine one is watching you. He's watching you. Amen. So it is time to repent. Okay? All these excuses for not serving God. If you think I'm talking to you, yes, it is you I'm talking to. <laughs> I caught you, Avi. Yes. If you think... Uh, is he talking to me? Yes! It is you I'm talking to. I'm speaking to you by the Spirit now. It is you I'm talking to. Say, I repent. I repent. You don't want to repent. I repent in dust and ashes. You know what that means? You know in those days when they are, when they are, when they are fast, when they, when, they, when they are repenting, they will put dust on their, on their head on their body, and then uh, put ashes and a wax wear sackcloth to show that they have repented or they are repenting. So repent. Amen. All right. Now, so you come to church. Church is a school. You learn when you come to church. Okay. So we said a fool says in his heart there is no God, and what do we see? The Bible says they are corrupt. You begin to see moral depravity in their lives. They begin to do things that are not convenient. You see. Because they don't have any moral standard that they judge their lives by. Do you see that now? So they descend into lawlessness. You see. If you ask an atheist today, you say God is, God, how can God be this evil? Okay, what? How do you come to the definition of evil? You know they cannot say anything. Because anything you say, you are setting a standard for yourself, right? Uh -huh. That was the first lesson. And the second one, we talked about the authority of the scripture. Because in the Bible, don't worry, I will release the video. This, I will release the video today. All the videos, all the audios, I will release everything today. Now, when you go to church, you go with your Bible. And when you go with your Bible, somebody tells you, open your Bible, open your Bible into, open your Bible to such and such a chapter or book, chapter, and so and stuff and stuff and stuff. All right. So now, pay attention. Why do we rely on the Bible so much? That is what we want to. That's what we have been studying. Why do we rely on the Bible? Why should you trust it? Why can't somebody just arrange his own book somewhere too and say that is the Lord talking? Don't forget, there are other Christian denominations like the, the Mormons, for instance. They have a book called the Book of Mormons. Right? Why can't we trust that one? Jehovah's Witnesses have their own translation of the Bible, exclusive to them. Why can't we trust theirs? 
what is unique about the Holy Bible. And that's what we've been studying. And today is the final session on that subject, the authority of the Holy Scriptures. So receive the ministry of my wife.